my sport is about 20 to 25 seconds. So we train, you know, five, six days a week for eight hours a day. But in the end, our competition season is about one minute, you know, and you train your whole life for one run at the Olympics, which ends up being 23 seconds. And so it's all mental. 70 people in all the world, and I had to get top six to beat out my friend to go to the Olympics, who I'm rooming with, and he had to get top 12. And he ended up getting 13th, missing the finals, and had to watch me ski in the finals. And I ended up getting fourth to go to the Olympics while he was watching, and he was one spot out. And I don't know if it's, it's just, it's not a, it's a big highlight for me because I performed under the most extreme amounts of pressure. But then it's also a very emotional part of, of my life because it was like my best friend and I knocked him out of his Olympic spot. And I think like that one day is a very big day for him and it was a very big day for me. When my friends, when they talk to me and ask about, you know, my life as a skier, they think it's kind of all glamour and travel where it's, it's not. It's, uh, it's more flying in, unpacking, training, competing, leaving. And that's more what it is. I think my friends, they assume I'm, you know, living the high life. <laughs> and it is because it's what I want to do, but it's uh, definitely not as glamorous as what some of my friends think. When you're training, you're thinking of a lot of different things and you're thinking of you know specific things of trying to work uh, to improve. Uh, but when it comes to the competition, um, when you're stepping into the gate, you really clear your mind and you'll only have maybe two or three keywords, only two things that you think about. For example, when I'm skiing the moguls, I'll be trying to think of staying forward and on top of my skis. So I'll have a keyword where I, I say, you know, forward or, or on top or, and then when I come to a jump, um, I'll want to think of, I, I'll want to think about doing my trick at the apex of uh, the air. And so I'll, I'll think about as I'm coming off the jump, patience, patience. And I'll just say just those two words. And that's all I think about the whole way down. I'm Chris Wong and this is What's Behind My Drive.